Hey friends, thanks for tuning in today. Today, I wanna barbecue a beautiful beef flank. It is a nice fresh flank, and I wanna do it on a rotisserie barbecue. There are different ways of doing it, but this is how I do it. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Beef flank can sometimes be a bit complicated. If it gets old or it gets frozen, it can taste old after thawing it and uh, barbecuing or something. So you preferably want to have it fresh. One issue uh, I have ran into by barbecuing beef flank is that it wants to stay chewy sometimes and somewhat hard and uh, can't really enjoy it. But I did this once already. It turned out very good. It's a very good quality meat. It is local grown and is from a butcher that I really much like. Let me tell you a little bit about that. Earl's Meat Market. It's located in Steinbeck, Manitoba. The customer service is very good. They're family oriented and very friendly. You always feel good there. Uh, if they don't have what you're looking for, they come and explain why they don't have it. They always work very hard to make sure that you get what you want. Customer satisfaction, 100%. And the meat, I love it. Very often if you buy meat, it looks pink and pale and uh, you can just tell the quality is bad and once you start preparing it, frying it or barbecuing it, it smells weird, it, it doesn't taste real and I have never really encountered with their meat. And check out the subscription down below. I'll leave a link to their website and to their Facebook page. So thank you Earl's Meat Market for always providing a good quality meat. Their meat is as far as I know, local and I'm a big fan of local businesses and uh, local farmers. Okay, let's get started. The meat has a little bit of fat, uh, actually quite a bit. It has more than the one they had last time, but that's okay. I cut some off, which is no big deal. And you wanna leave some on there because by doing a rotisserie, the fat protects the meat so it doesn't dry out so much. So what I like to do is uh, like to cut it in pieces like this. The reason I'm cutting it like this because later on you wanna put the rotisserie spear through here. So that way it's nicely balanced and when it turns on the rotisserie spear. So all the juices stay nicely within the meat. Okay, now that that is out of the way, we will get the marinating sauce ready. So let's start off with limes, lemon or limes, whatever your preference is. And you wanna add as much limes as you like. It all depends on preference. Some people like more lime flavor, others less. Next up, some nice red dry wine. And also believe it has to do with tenderizing the meat. Use your favorite seasoning, whatever you like, whatever seasoning you prefer. I have my preference of seasoning. I use fajita seasoning and just regular seasoning and Creole seasoning, which has no MSG, a very healthy seasoning, salt and pepper to your preference. Please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite way is of preparing beef flank. And if you like beef flank and what experiences you had with it. Okay, the marinating sauce is ready. And of course I can help myself not tasting it. It's a bit sour, but yummy. Now, let's put the meat in there. <laughs> Just put it all in, there, all in there, basically. Then you wanna kinda mix it around and nicely soak it all in with the sauce, a uh, marinating sauce. And don't be afraid of getting your hands dirty because that's what real cooks do, or wannabe cooks do. <laughs> and you want to make sure that all of the meat is nicely soaked in here. You want to turn it around. Look at how beautiful the meat looks. It's already nicely soaking. Now it's time to start the charcoals.
Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite way of barbecuing is, if you do charcoal, rotisserie, or, or propane barbecues. If you want to learn more about this barbecue, about the grill itself, click the link up there or in the subscription down below. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time.